Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 15th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. Today was warm with light and variable winds. There was a thick overcast in the morning, but as we got into the early afternoon, it became partly sunny and that launched a pretty big raptor flight. It was a great morning for birding around the Derby Hill property. Here we have an Oriole that is yellow overall with a black throat. This is an immature male orchard Oriole. Here we have another good bird that has yellow and black. This is a warbler that's yellow overall, except for a black cap to the head. This is a Wilson's warbler, the first of the season. With the gloomy weather in the morning, we didn't expect to see much early raptor activity, but we did have these two adult bald eagles chasing each other. Here we have a large fly catcher that is gray above on the head and upper breast and yellow on the belly. This is a great crested fly catcher. Here we have one of the striped sparrows, but this is not a song sparrow. If we look at this bird, we see that overall it has more of a gray tone to it, and the streaking to the breast is much thinner. And in person, we could also tell that behind the upper breast, there was more of a tan coloration. This is a Lincoln's sparrow. Here we had a small flyover songbird that is completely blue underneath. This is an indigo bunting. And for another colorful bird, here we have one that's bright yellow with some red streaking to the upper breast. This is a yellow warbler. And how about this stunning bird that's a deep red underneath? This is a male scarlet tanager. Here we have a small raptor with rounded wing tips, so a hawk, not a falcon. We see a long tail on this bird and a relatively small head. And looking at the overall shape, it's a bit compact looking with bulging secondaries. This is a sharp shinned hawk. Here we have the side view of a large black and white raptor with a black line through the eye. This is an osprey. We see this species in the early part of the season, then there's a gap in the middle when we're not really seeing it, and then here at the end of the season we see it in large numbers again. These are cedar waxwings. Here we have a small to medium sized white water bird. We see very long pointed wings. This is a common tern that is carrying a fish. The great blue jay migration continues with another 2,000 counted today. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so a small falcon with dark streaking underneath and a dark tail, and we can just make out some white bands to it. This is a merlin. Here we have a bald eagle, and this is almost a full adult, not quite yet. We can see the white head and white tail, but there is a bit of a dark tip to the tail, and we see a lot of splotchy white throughout the underside of the wings and body, so this is probably like a 50-year bird. Here we have a small compact buteo with somewhat pointed wings and overall a light coloration to the wings. This is a juvenile broad-winged hawk, and we had over a thousand broad wings today, mostly in a few hours in the afternoon when it brightened up. Here we have a medium-large raptor high overhead. We can see that this bird has very pointed wings, so we should be thinking falcon, and it's just a very large, bulky falcon. It's our largest falcon that we regularly see, the peregrine falcon, the fastest animal on the planet. And it really turned into a really nice afternoon to be out. Taking a look at the eBird list from today, we had 106 species from the North Lookout. There were two new species for the season, which were Morning Warbler and Wilson's Warbler, bringing us to a total of 193 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 447 turkey vultures, 10 ospreys, 57 bald eagles, 23 northern harriers. We had 32 sharp-shinned hawks and 2 cooper's hawks. We had 1,051 broad-winged hawks, 46 red-tailed hawks, and for falcons we had 1 merlin and 3 peregrine falcons for a total of 1,672 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 8,386 and the season total to 86,644. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for rain showers in the morning with thunderstorms developing in the afternoon, a high in the mid 70s and winds south southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So it's a good wind direction. It's kind of similar to today. It's relatively light 
and the day is really just going to depend on what the rain does and how gloomy it is. Overall, it's looking like it probably won't be that good of a day for Hawks unless it really clears up at some point throughout the day. However, it could be another really good day for songbirds with good migration overnight tonight. And then if there's some rain in the morning, that could knock the birds down and make them actively feed in the trees. So we'll look forward to a good songbird day tomorrow and maybe we'll be surprised and get some raptors too. For Saturday, they're calling for mixed clouds and sun with scattered thunderstorms and a high around 70 and light southwesterly winds. So again, that'll kind of depend on what the rain does. But if there's periods that are sunny, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some hawks moving. For Sunday, they're calling for considerable cloudiness with occasional rain showers, cooler with a high only in the low to mid 50s and westerly winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So would only expect light, maybe moderate migration for Sunday. All right, another great day of birding out here at Derby Hill. The songbirds were really good in the morning, and we ended up with over 100 species for the day, and that's always a really good milestone to aim for this time of year. And then we had that surprise raptor flight. With as gloomy as the day started, we weren't expecting much of a raptor flight, but we had those few hours in the midday when the sun popped out a little bit. We had the best flight of broad-winged hawks we've had so far this month, and really the first big push of juveniles. And there was a good bald eagle flight and three peregrines in a day is a really nice total for us. So overall, a really fantastic day of birding and really nice weather. Just a really fun day to be out and hang out with people out at the North Lookout. And it looks like we'll have some more good days, for, at least for songbirds, coming up. So hope you can join us soon out at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.